Welcome back to another video. Today we've reached the 100 subscribers and I'd just like to thank every single one of you that has subscribed. Anyway, we'll just get right into the Q&A and yes, we're doing a Q&A. So, when did you start YouTube? I've personally only started to take YouTube very seriously a month ago. Before this, I was making some B-Swim content. But, you know, up until that point, I only had like 10 subscribers. How old are you? I am 14. Which game made you start YouTube? There wasn't a particular game that started me. I guess I did start with Beast Swarm, but then, you know, I kind of leaned into Shockwave Racing. On average, when will you stream? Well, I'd say like twice a week, maybe. It just depends on school and other stuff, how busy I get. Who made you start YouTube or did you start without hesitation? Well, I have this friend called Kibble Ken and he's basically just helped me in the start and gave me some motivation. How did you first find out about Shockwave Racing? So I was looking for the discovery page and then I got to this section called uh, Racing Games and you know, then I just saw it there. What came through your mind when you were gonna start making Shockwave Racing videos? So the reason I started with Shockwave Racing is because there's not really YouTubers covering this content. And it was also a game I enjoyed and that I could have covered like a fair bit of content on. So, you know, I get content that I can make and I enjoy making it. Do you think Shockwave Racing can become a very popular game in the future? Personally, I do. I think there's a lot of potential and the game just came out three months ago. So there's still a lot of time for the game to get improved and to get more players. Why did you start making videos on Shockwave Racing? Well, I've sort of already addressed this, but there was no one else making this content. So the game's fairly popular. So people are probably going to be searching it up on YouTube. And I wanted to come up there because I have a high chance, even though I'm a small YouTuber, I have a high chance to get on there because there's just not too much content on the game. Do you think you'll be making other content that's not Shockwave Racing on Roblox? I most likely will and I already kind of have a plan for that. How did you become so good at Shockwave Racing? Personally, I just like the game so I just played it. And the more you play, the better you get. That's just a fact. I've suggested a couple of things before in the Shockwave Racing Discord server. Um, but the main thing I want to see is an actual progression system because right now the only progression we have is wins. That's basically it. I guess we do have coins, but it would be cool to see stuff like perks and skills with cooldowns. So like a super jump or something every 10 seconds. So stuff you can actually get because right now the single thing you can really get is coins and trails and trails don't really help. So the game gets really repetitive. So if there were perks, skills and other stuff, the game would just be more fun and more playable for like long sessions. Is Shockwave Racing better on mobile or PC according to you? You can do the exact same things you can do on PC on mobile. However, I do feel more uncomfortable on mobile. And also full mobile support isn't out yet. So what that means is that you don't have the sidebar, you know, that tells you where people are on the course. You don't have a shop, you don't have an inventory. You can't access any of that stuff and you can't even access the leaderboard. Gameplay wise, they're the same, but PC does have the shop and other stuff. Most of these questions have already been asked, but I'm gonna answer them. What's your name? Alex, but my nickname is Hex. I've already answered two and three. How long did it take for you to get your first sub? No clue how I even got my first sub, so I can't really answer that. How are you the best YouTuber? Simply, I am not. Maybe I'm the best Shockwave Racing YouTuber, and I guess you would be right. Um, but not the best in general. Why are your videos so good? That's kind of a weird question, but, um, I just put a lot of effort in them, and some videos literally take days to make, and I'm not joking when I say that. A lot of YouTubers, like, they have editors hired, they have people to do the thumbnails, but for smaller content creators that can't afford that, yeah, we just kind of do everything by ourselves, which just adds a lot more time than the big YouTubers. This is my friend in his natural habitat. Um, so, are you gay? No, I'm not. Why? I am not. And are you asexual? No. Do you like anime? Oh, I have no idea why this guy is asking this because we friends. We've been friends for eight years, whatever. And he's obsessed with anime. I'm not. I've watched like two animes. Um, just tried them out and I don't like them, but I don't hate them. You like me? Uh, I actually hate you. I actually despise you. You like you, yeah, obviously, I like myself. I love myself. I do. And you like Lego Ninjago. I don't really know much about Lego, so I can't really give an opinion on that. So uh, you're just not going to get answered for that, I guess. 
I know I'm a bit late, but I'd just like to thank everybody for all the support. We've basically got 120 subscribers in a month, which is absolutely crazy to me. If you guys would like anything else answered, you can ask down in the comments below. I'll answer them as long as they're appropriate. That is the end of the Q&A. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.